today's tutorial, I want to talk about the projects tool in SCM Rush. So essentially, projects are depending on you know what level paying account you have, you'll have a, a specific number of projects. But essentially, projects are um, entities within your SCM Rush account that have more specialized information. So for example, we have you know each of our clients as a project. So if I go into one of our clients' projects. Um, you know, we get to run audits, we get to do position tracking, some on-page SEO, we can even do social media tracking and posting through SEMrush. Some brand monitoring would be like something like, um, you know, are they using some sort of keyword that we want to see like how often people are using it on other places found throughout the internet. Maybe they're, you know, talking about this client in some way or they're talking about some specific piece of content that the client wrote. Do a back click on it to see like, how many people are linking to you know pages on our client site, um, and this is a great way to kind of like disavow any uh, bad links. You know, people who are linking to your site that shouldn't be linking to your site, uh, you can actually just tell Google to ignore that, and it wouldn't hurt you. Um, link building is a great way to reach out to people who are relevant to your industry, and you could you know reach out to them and say, hey, you know, here's a great piece of content. Um, I really think it'd be valuable to link to it, and so it kind of gives you. A more specialized view of you know who you can reach out to um, that is relevant to to your industry. <clears throat> there is some uh, paid ad tools as well, like the PPC keyword tool, the ad builder to actually build out ads, some organic traffic insights based on Google Analytics and Google Search Console, as well as a content analyzer to you know take a look at some of your existing content and see how it performs over time or how you could improve it. So the main thing I want to bring up here in the project tool is the website audit. So this is the first one on the top left, the site audit. Basically what's gonna happen is SCMrush is going to crawl through every single page that it can find on the client's domain and check, to, and check it against any uh, pretty common uh, SEO errors. Uh, so for example, you know, in the issues tab, these are the main, one, the main ones you wanna focus on. Um, you know, it's going to be in the errors. Warnings and notices aren't uh, too bad. Uh, warnings, again, that maybe sometimes, you know, there are things you can fix on the page. Other times they don't actually matter. Again, you know, images that don't have alt text usually should fix that. Uh, and then notices are just like, hey, by the way, this is what's happening. This is what we found. Um, but errors are kind of your main one, like, you know, pages with duplicate title tags, uh, you know, redirect chains and looping. You never want to have something like an infinite redirect so that you're just, you know, causing the, the page to error out or time out. Duplicate content issues, duplicate meta descriptions, any broken links or broken pages, uh, pages with mixed content. So something like, you know, it's a HTTPS page, so it's a secure page, but it's loading maybe an image over HTTP. So you don't, you if you're, you want to make sure that you're consistent in your security protocols. Uh, any broken images, any broken JS or CSS, some broken canonical links, and any you know, AMP issues if you're on the business subscription plan. So these are the big ones you wanna focus on. Uh, you, can, you can actually see a list of all of those issues um, to give you a better idea of like, where are these actually happening and you know, where you should go to fix them. Um, you also can export these uh, into a CSV if you want to kind of send them around to make sure that everyone's having kind of like a better idea of what needs to be fixed. Um, so that's, that's how you do the site audit. I mean, really at the end of the day, you know, to set it up, you're just gonna go to the site audit tool and it's gonna ask you to plug in some basic uh, organization information like what domain they're on and, you know, what their legal name is and, you know, how, how much of a crawl budget do you wanna use? So for example, we set it at, you know, a 15,000 page crawl limit. Obviously not all sites are 15,000 pages. You know, in this case we crawled 10, almost 11,000 pages. Um, and it's usually, it's crawled on a weekly basis. Um, and all that's done, you know, within the settings and when you were initially set up uh, this audit report. Uh, we also have it, you know, you can send it directly to the client every week after it's crawled and you get to see, you know, how many errors have, have we removed or how many errors, you know, how many additional errors were found maybe because new pages uh, were created or, you know, there, there was uh, just more, more pages that were just found in general. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the site audit tool again. You want to focus really on 
this issues tab and then go to the errors and really work on fixing a lot of these because these tend to be the more important ones, again, according to SEMrush. Um, and then once those are done, you can focus on warnings. Uh, anytime you're leading you know, a secure page to an insecure page or uncompressed JS and CSS, if that's you know, affecting your load time, unminified as well. So yeah, that's, that's the site audit tool. Just make sure you focus on issues and errors and warnings if needed. Um, and just you know, keep checking back you know, every month or so to see you know, how well you're improving.